How we doing, everybody? How we doing? Today is Wednesday, the 3rd of July, 2024. Just doing a real estate tap-in with you for today. Um, so it looks like demand, you know, has slowed as interest rates have gone, you know, at or above 7%. But it looks like uh, home prices are still going up. So, you know, to me, that just means that the people, the wealthy people in this country uh, are still buying, you know, the those more expensive properties, probably over, I would say, 500,000, you know, to a million is really what's selling. Um, you know, and pushing these prices up because, you know, demand is slowing. So how is, you know, the price appreciation continue to go up month to month? So uh, it's at a tipping point. That's all I can tell you. It's at a tipping point at some point. Um, you know, I think things will adjust, uh, just how severe that'll be. <laughs> we will have to see. Um, so my suggestion is that if you can, you know get into a property um you're gonna want to get into it and just kind of weather the storm um you know when we talk about notes here when we're on the note side of things you know we control the asset uh, you know we can get the asset back and put somebody else in the asset you know in the event that something goes wrong there's a downturn in the market also uh we're protected against uh, the value of a property coming down uh, if you're somebody that thinks that the market is going to dip you know 20 30 percent um, as a note investor a lot of times you know we buy these notes at a significant discount to the value so if we do have to take them back you know we have um, you know we have some room um, you know if the market does correct um, you know just how how much of a discount you get it at, you know, depends on the deal itself. But, uh, and then also you have the non-performing side of notes where you can buy um, a note that is not performing, person's not paying, and then get it at such a significant discount that you can, again, uh, withstand the values coming down. But, you know, when you're on the note side, you're, you're going to be able with the lack of supply and the lack of uh, just the building that hasn't been going on. You know, people are going to have a need for this particular asset. People are always going to need a place to stay. Um, and then we have multiple exit strategies when you're on the note side uh, to make sure that your investment is protected. You know, even if you don't maybe... If you get the property back and if you don't write another note, you know, at worst, you know, you can rent the property, uh, maybe do a lease option on the property, you know, depending on what's going on and what strategies, um, you know, may work best. But when we get, when we look at these non-performing assets, as well as the performing assets, you know, we always look at it with three or more different exit strategies you know, to make sure that if some whatever happens, you know, we're prepared for it. So, you know, that's the good thing going in. You could say, okay, you know, what if this market does shift? What if we have a lot of layoffs, a lot of, you know, people losing their jobs and and what effect is that gonna have on the market? What's my plan for that? We've already established that when we do our due diligence. Um, so, you know, those are the good things about notes is that you can already have your plan in place for worst case scenario, whatever you believe that to be. And, you know, again, we have more than one exit strategy on these. So um, it's just a great time just to kind of know about notes, get involved in notes, understand them, uh, be able to create them. If you're somebody that's already in real estate and have properties that uh, you want to think about, converting that property uh, to a note, you know, offering it to someone else and you becoming the bank. You know, again, just because of where we're at in this particular market, 
and if it does shift there's going to be you know some some opportunities on the non-performing side and uh, helping you know distressed sellers uh, you know with your ability to understand notes and creating notes so you know just it's been my advice I've been coming on here for you know over six months now each and every day just trying to get this message out hopefully it's resonating with some people um, at least look into the opportunity if you don't agree uh, with the outlook you know that's fine but uh, I would at least look at it try to get a good understanding of it what you can do with it and you know what your real estate investing goals are and see if it's a good fit all right everybody you have a happy july 4th you know i won't be on tomorrow um possibly i'll come back on on friday but uh they are i will be posting three uh note deals uh, to my youtube channel uh, you can look under there and it should it's going to go either under funding opportunities or deal review one of those two playlists uh, you can check it out uh, should be up there by by Friday uh, go to abundant capital group and um, you know subscribe there so when I post it you'll get the uh, notification all right everybody again have a safe fourth and uh, we'll see you soon have a good one